Hi everyone, so as you can probably tell, um, I'm going to do my makeup in this video, but in this case, I'm going to actually do a transformation type of video. Um, I like watching these type of videos, let me just change the camera a little bit. Okay, I like watching these kind of videos um, because generally they're sort of a look at how someone interprets a certain style um, and I just like to see what happens. Um, I really have makeup on already, but I'm going to change it. I want to go to a sort of um, trad goth type of look, which is kind of heavy in the makeup, um, as it apparently was in the 80s. According to some uh, pictures I have, I have taken from that time, or at least they uh, seem to be from that time. So, as you can see, this is my regular face of makeup. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing some concealer under my eyes some neutral eyeshadow, um, some liner that goes a little bit downwards, brow gel and blush. This is the cream blush by Milk Makeup. Um, and I'm also wearing a little bit of uh, sort of blurred or what do you call it, diffused lip lipstick, which is the Maybelline um, Matte Ink. The writing is worn off because this is, I worn this a lot, this is my most used lipstick by a landslide. So yeah, this is pretty much what I'm going to start off with and I want to finish the base first of all. Okay, so I'm going to do outfit and makeup but I want to start off with makeup for some reason. I feel that it will be a bit more exciting, I don't know, um, but I'm going to first try and have a more even base and cover let's see I think I should probably cover over the blush a little bit because from the pictures that I have seen I'll show them on screen from the pictures that I've seen they don't really seem to be wearing a lot of blush maybe some contour it seems um, some of the pictures are black and white I have one black and white reference picture and one that's color they don't seem to be wearing um, blush but they do seem to be wearing contour. I don't really like contour, so and, and I don't really know how to do it either way, so I don't think I'm gonna attempt it. But I wanna, they seem to have a really like clear, flawless base, so I'm going to try and emulate that with concealer. I don't really wear foundation, I don't even own one, so we're gonna do what we have to do, you know? It's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm kind of sweaty by the way, it's kind of hot today um, as it has been lately. So let's see what I do with the eye look. I was just gonna do like a heavier version of what I'm wearing except the eyeliner is a little bit more outwards I was thinking. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to pull it off for starters but I think I'm gonna attempt it anyway but I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow. Um, Let's see, where's my... Oh, she's okay. Let's start with the crease. And I think I might start off with the dark grey color. This is, I'm using the Paradise Fallen palette by, what's this called? Ace Beauty or Beauty, I don't know. I think I'm gonna look at my, the mirror that I have here. Um, it's easier to look at it than the finder. So yeah, I think it's basically a heavier version of what I'm wearing right now. And by the way, I've worn heavy looks like this one before on my channel. I'm sure you have seen me wearing these types of um, makeup looks before. Oh wow, that's really... Well, I was gonna say that's really heavy, but once you zoom out, it doesn't really look all that, you know? And what I'm not sure about, and I suspect that maybe back in the 80s, um, they weren't really doing the whole look that I that they were in the pictures daily, you know, maybe that was just more for special occasions or concerts or when they knew that they were gonna have their picture taken. Um, yeah, even today people don't, you know, even alternative people don't necessarily go all the way with their looks every day. Because that's just a lot of time and effort and you might as well save it for, you know, concerts or photo shoots or what have you. 
There are people who do it though, that's really cool. I think might also be because, you know, you definitely get looks when you wear stuff that's out of the norm. I wouldn't know that myself too. I definitely get stares sometimes depending on what I'm wearing. Um, anything that's kind of a little bit off or what have you gets some stares. I don't live in a big city, so sometimes people, you know, don't really see anything too strange every day and that's considering the fact that i'm not really that uh, extreme with my looks this is probably the most extreme you'll see me in a while so yeah i'm definitely kind of out of my comfort zone i would say so my crease or rather my outer corner is going to be kind of heavy it's kind of a gray color actually it's not black it's kind of hard to work with black eyeshadow so that's why I'm going to mostly, well actually I think I'll try black eyeshadow instead of liner and then see where we go from there. So I'm also going to use the, I'm going to use the shade blackout. I, I was using the shade stone before that, um, let me show you. I was using this but I'm going to use this one now. And yeah, I wonder if goths back then in the 80s were really doing the whole, um, the whole thing every day i'm i'm already wearing eyeliner so i'm not sure i'm wearing liquid liner so i'm not sure what the hell i'm doing right now i think the way that i did my liner kind of makes it difficult for uh now for me to now have a like upward swing liner but it might look okay on camera i think it's just when you look up close there's like two little wings going different directions but yeah if you were around in the 80s and you were a goth or you were around goths can you confirm or deny if that's the case if people were really wearing 80s 80s if people were really wearing like the full on like very heavy winged black liner and the full black outfit with the chains and the crosses every day oh i didn't fucking blend this oh my god that looks terrible now well you don't see how textured skin really is on camera, fortunately, or I guess unfortunately. But yeah, it does look heavy, I can tell you that. Concealer straight up in the face, it looks kind of heavy. I'm not sure how well you can see, yeah, you can see it. I have a second wing here. I think I might try and remove it with concealer. But yeah, I think that's the first phase of the makeup done. Kinda, ish, kinda, I don't know. Let's see, if I can build this up a little bit more. Okay, so I think I might try to do, where's the concealer? I think I might try to do sort of an all around black um, liner, which seems to have been popular around then based on a couple of pictures that I see um, well one that I saw she's definitely wearing the sort of like Egyptian cut eye type of thing I need to mind me or and it definitely now how the hell do I blend this that's really heavy you know that looks really really heavy and I'm not sure that anyone can really pull that off well, some people obviously can, but I'm not used to wearing heavy looks like this or really like obviously goth looks like this, you know? So basically I don't really wear goth makeup, you know, I'm not used to it looking... Um, I've spoken about this before in other videos, but I'm kind of scared of being looked at as someone who wears heavy makeup because feel like people are kind of judged for that people are judged for all kinds of things obviously but i do fear judgment i think and sometimes that makes me avoid looking certain ways and also i think it's partly because of that and partly because it's just maybe not my style um to look that extreme um on the daily you know i have to fix that liner later but yeah, I have that kind of going already and 
gonna go over that with the black shadow again see if I can fix that I'm not even that much in the community I guess um, I'm not really one to go clubbing and stuff a lot of gods are like that but you know it's kind of expected of you to some degree to be at god clubs I wouldn't mind if I wasn't like kind of embarrassed of dancing in public um, and that kind of thing so yeah this wing is not as great it didn't end up being as great as this one this one isn't like artistic level but it looks a little bit better than the other um, let me try and place the base for the rest of the look here let's see if I can actually do something that looks good because I'm expecting that it's not going to look good I'm already calling it to be honest with you <sighs> see it's not it's strange I'm not used to to seeing this you know this whole thing um I never, now that I think of it, I almost never have shadow on my lower, on my lower eyelid because, precisely because I think it tends to look kind of heavy and it sort of, it doesn't just make you look heavy, the look, it makes it heavier, but it also, mm, I feel like it makes your, my eyes at least, look smaller and a little bit more closed, closed off, I don't know. But maybe that's just my my own vision of myself because I'm used to looking at myself a certain way. So this isn't as much of a disaster as I expected. It doesn't look great up, up close, I can tell you that for sure. But you know, I don't hate how it looks on camera, I think it looks fine. I feel like the, the line just looks so blunt it doesn't look sharp this line the ones um on the outer corner let me see if i can fix that with the wing liner um, and then we'll move on to lips because that's pretty much it when it comes to the makeup from what i can see and the contour of course and the brows are definitely thinner and more bold but i'm not sure how i'm gonna pull that off because um i don't want to shave my eyebrows and i also don't oh my god I don't want to shave my eyebrows and I also don't want to I don't know I feel like it would suit this look to have more bold eyebrows maybe but I'm not a bold person I think well I don't how, know how bold I am I'm not sure I always get makeup on my eyelashes although it's just liner but you know Okay, so the wings are not even at all, but, you know, they're not even. What am I supposed to do? This side looks a little bit better, strangely. And I say strangely because initially it seemed like the wrong side, the bad side. But now it gives me more hope. tell you I truly don't know what to tell you <laughs> this is a more up close look in case you were wondering um, like I said this is like my second ever attempt to do a heavier um, type of um, god look so yeah it's not great it's not too bad I guess um, it could be worse I probably should use waterline black shadow on my waterline or black pencil I mean um, let me get the mirror out again let's see if I can pull it off because I think this one is a little bit dry this pencil unfortunately so it might not make any difference no it's not doing anything this this is terrible this is by what's in wild 
it's the waterproof retractable gel eyeliner I don't know why they call it gel eyeliner but it's not it's dry it's a very dry formula which probably helps it be waterproof but I the results you know it doesn't glide on at all so that's pretty unfortunate anyways um where were we what are we talking about um lips of course let me try and remove some of the lipstick that i have still on even though i'm basically going to re you know put on the same lipstick that i had before let me drink some of my matcha going to start off with lining my lips let's see what we get this is already not very promising i feel like my lips already look crooked here especially my lips are lined and i'm going to use the same lipstick maybelline um ink matte matte crayon in crayon <laughs> this look this is what it's gonna be so I'm not going to reapply my blush um, like I said because they don't seem to be wearing blush in my reference pictures and um, what was I gonna say okay so my outfit generally is what I'm wearing right now I'm going to show you this is my standard outfit for going out and you know whatever I do this is pretty much my uniform band shirt um, some sort of skirt usually the denim skater skirt or my longer black skirt or anything um, any skirt with shorts underneath generally or tights or leggings or something like that but I'm gonna change it up a little bit I'm actually not going to change up the outfit too much in the sense that I'm still gonna be wearing a band shirt and a skirt but you're gonna be different um, my band shirt is going to be obviously a goth band shirt which isn't too out of my comfort zone since I obviously do listen to that music and I own a couple of them which I wear sometimes but I almost never do like a full-on look that's like goth you know and the makeup is definitely the least uh, the, the furthest farthest from my comfort zone but yeah the outfit isn't gonna be that weird except for the fact that i think i'm gonna be wearing fishnets and i think with the short skirt that's definitely not something that i do all the time but it's fine for a video um you know for a video i'm not gonna be going out anyway so nobody's going to harass me and if they do i can just remove them from the earth this is the shirt it's so see in the back she's you know really standard for a goth um okay there we go uh, really standard for a goth um you know everyone knows this band i love this band um i love their earlier albums um and especially i really like the live versions of the songs from a kiss in the dream house um i just love especially their first albums the first like four or five i think um anyways so oh my god the color balance again <laughs> okay so we're going to change i'm wearing shorts but we're gonna change into my fishnets and uh skirt so that's gonna be interesting isn't it yes it is okay so this skirt you've seen on me before or maybe you haven't but you have seen it itself before i have it in my capsule wardrobe for uh summer no summer and fall yes um so as you can see it's really short um i'm not even sure about turning around on this um i usually will wear this with tights or leggings because of how short it is but i like that you can see the whole susie and the banshees logo there and yeah i'm wearing fishnets by the way i'm gonna maybe show it to you a bit more clearly you'll see a full on you know reveal later on um i still need to i'm also gonna do accessories and 
things like that so you just wait and see you know so for accessories i decided that we could have quite a few of them since the reference picture has people wearing quite a few different accessories and one of them is this cross of course um i also have an ank um so yeah we love the juxtaposition of cross and ank you know that makes perfect sense I don't know why goths started wearing anks. I don't really know the history behind that, but I think it's interesting. If someone knows why goths wear anks, it would be interesting for me to know. The ank is actually from a museum and it used to be gold. Well, it used to be colored, you know, golden color, but I painted it silver with nail polish a long time ago. I've had this for probably 10 years. Um, pretty much ever since I started getting into goth, um, I got this very shortly after that so it's been a while um and i don't even have that nail polish anymore interestingly the cross i just got from a more god specific uh store local store and i was thinking of wearing the necklace that i was wearing on that clip um with my original outfit um but i figured that this would be basically the same length as this one so i'm not sure about that one but I feel like two is enough with the including the earrings and everything. I haven't shown you the earrings. I'm just gonna wear my um let me show you my skeleton earrings. These are also from a local store, um a sort of goth themed store, but I'm sure you can just find skeleton earrings anywhere if you look them up. Um so I'm kind of uh I think I'm in accessory heavy enough. I don't really want to tease my hair. Um, you have probably noticed I'm kind of protective of my hair and I don't really want to tease it because that tangles it and that creates breakage and all these things. Um, so, and I'm not going to dye it black, obviously. So I might just keep it the way it is. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that goths themselves in the 80s necessarily tease their hair every day. Um, and I also found some pictures of them just wearing their natural hair color. I saw a lot of brown haired goths um, pictures from the 80s. And so I decided that I would just, you know, keep it like that. I would wear the black rose um, crown, but I figured that it would be more of a Victorian goth type of thing, not so much trad. So I think I'm just going to keep it like that. And then the last thing that I'm going to add, aside from my shoes, is going to be my beautiful, cute Buffy. So this is my Baphomet backpack and he's sort of a cute version of Baphomet. Um, you can see it's a little bit, it's a little backpack. It can fit just like your small phone if you have like an eye touch or like an, an older phone. Um, and maybe like some money, maybe like a small wallet, um, you know, lip balm, something like that. It's definitely not very roomy as you can imagine, but just for the video here, you know, it doesn't really make any difference. Um, for me to wear it, so I decided that I would do it, you know, just for the final reveal video. So another thing I actually wanted to mention is um, this vest and I put it has spikes on it. It was I got it from a Facebook sale. It already had the spikes on it, and I put this uh, Sisters of Mercy pin on it. I used to have it on my backpack, but I decided to put it here for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did because I definitely found it very fun. Um, I think I might do this look uh, more often, this eye look at least. I'm not sure if the lips, the bold lips together with the eye look at the same time, but you know, I really think I should practice this type of eye look more often. Um, and I don't know, I, I think at first I was kind of jarred by how extreme that look was with me, because I'm used to seeing myself with softer looks, but I actually think it looks really cool and it might suit me more than I expected it would and i do feel like myself with it and i do like the way it looks and so i hope you enjoyed this video um you found it interesting or, or helpful or you know funny i don't know and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye